Okay, so real quick, uh, shout out to Leia. I miss you, sweetie. Our schedules haven't been lining up so well, and uh, hopefully she'll be able to return soon. But with this one, I just wanted to kind of, <laughs> well, there's a few of them that uh, we got to talk about. All right. They're questionable. So uh, let's get it. All right. So let's get into it. Uh, the question today is, <laughs> is, are these celebrities really satanic? Uh, is Travis Scott really satanic all right so um the reason that i'm asking the question is because first of all uh, i came across this news report and it tripped me out check this out <laughs> Right, he's known to be a stunt supporter of global Freemasonry. <laughs> They've taken legal measures to prevent his show. But in his shows, this American rapper performs the full range of satanic rites. Like this is on their news, right? The well-being of Egyptian citizens is more important to us than holding such a show. Right, okay, so... Mm. You say he can't justify it by saying it's tourism. He's been banned since 2021. And in his latest show, dozens were killed and hundreds were wounded. And that's what I want to talk about. <laughs> I would misreport, say the type of music he was playing. Radiated negative energy. Okay, that's crazy, right? So he's straight banned from them for being uh, satanic, so to speak, right? And it, and yet it does bring to mind the last uh, uh, big Travis Scott sort of uh, event. Remember his uh, his uh, <laughs> Astro World adventure. One concert goer <laughs> called it hell. Police say they have not determined what caused the deadly chaos. It just felt like we was like literally like in fucking hell, bro. Like it felt like we was in a concert in hell. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't see like and like once the medics tried to help them, they wasn't responding. They moved to the next person. It was nothing they could have do. Like this shit, like this shit really fucked me up and like really spooked me tonight. Like that was like some demonic shit. Like, yeah, we'll get to some of the symbolism later. That is so sad. Um, you know, to have that image in your head still this morning i'm sure oh a hundred percent i mean like i said I, I work in the hospital i work you know with people that go into cardiac arrest i mean this was more terrifying than anything i've ever seen anything i've ever seen ever look at their faces right <laughs> We start with breaking news from the United States, where at least eight people have died in a crowd surge during the opening night of the Astro World Music Festival in Houston, Texas. As Scott took the stage to headline his Astro World Festival Friday, many of his fans were being crushed in a sea of pain. This was the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. People were getting trampled. I saw people's heads stomped in. I saw people getting their ribs broken. It just got worse and worse. Everyone's like, you just can't breathe. You just feel like... 17 people taken to hospital, 11 of them suffering cardiac arrests, more than 300 treated on the scene. Look, in my 27 years, I have never uh, experienced uh, this type of, of, of mass casualty. I mean, and that really says something, 27 years, and this is the worst you've seen. Houston Fire Chief Samuel Peña. The rapper Travis Scott, who founded the festival and is from Houston, stopped several times during his 75-minute set when he spotted fans in distress. We need somebody to help him. Somebody pass out right here. Somebody pass out right here. Hold on, don't touch him, don't touch him. Everybody just back up. Security, somebody help, jump in real quick, keep going. Just... But panic later set in, and the crowd surged towards the front of the stage. It's not yet known what caused the incident. People are fucking dying, I'm gonna save somebody's life. I'm gonna get back. That's somebody's kid. Who is this girl? Who else did it start? 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 Who
new video shows security actually lifting up someone who needed medical attention as Travis Scott continues to perform. At the front, a man was heckled as he shouted for medical assistance. But when it came, that help was hampered by some festival goers oblivious to the unfolding tragedy, dancing on top of an emergency vehicle. Reports suggest medics were overwhelmed. And then meanwhile, you have others that are climbing up the tower to the staff that's in charge of the lighting and saying, stop this, shut it down. They're trying to they shut the concert down. Nothing was being done. Um, it was absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I am disturbed. But we just watched the bodies just go past us unconscious. <laughs> with reports of people being trampled, unable to move and breathe, some unconscious and falling to the ground, EMS crossing dense crowds to reach them. I went to cardiac arrest last night, and there's a... I'm so sorry. All I heard was... You just gonna let them die? People were so packed, they passed out. Some suffered cardiac arrest. We had to walk over people's bodies. Yeah, real quick side note, uh, there are questions about why they went into cardiac arrest, but uh, stories for other days. But there are major questions still outstanding about whether this festival should have been allowed to go ahead given those injuries earlier in the day. Guys? Yeah, just a glaring question there and the video unbelievable. <laughs> And this video, captured during the day on Friday, shows hundreds of people rushing checkpoints and destroying security property at the entrance. The on-site medical team was quickly overwhelmed by hundreds of casualties. Emergency vehicles trying to access the most seriously injured appeared to be hindered by revelers, unaware of what was unfolding. Just imagine all the people they're going to find tonight who was in that crowd, who nobody could see, who nobody could hear, who passed out and everybody was just trampling on top of them the whole fucking concert like I'm thinking it's probably gonna be like at least a hundred people who dead tonight like I kid you not like in the VIP section it was so many bodies laid out people was getting pulled out who was fainted and the people were trying the medics were trying to give them CPR and they was flipping them over and like they was literally turning them black and blue like I never seen no I never seen death in my fucking life bro just by me alone it was probably like 10 fucking people laid out dead. In a statement posted on Twitter, Scott said he's devastated by the death. How are you feeling about, you know, the victims who have lost their lives at a concert? I feel very angry. Um, you know, Travis acknowledged that something was happening in the crowd. He acknowledged that there was an ambulance. He acknowledged that someone was passed out and then just continued the concert. Who else did this Who else did this Who what was so crazy, like people were screaming help, trying to tell Travis, Travis Scott, they was like help, the whole crowd was just going to help, help, help. And he just kept going, bro. It was like, this shit was scary, bro. It was so demonic, bro. But there's a lot of people that are very selfish. There's people that, that I saw a pit that was being held together by people, but because the pe in the pit was people that fell. So they were helping, they were standing together to help the people get up. And I've witnessed, and I witnessed somebody unconscious struggling to get out like their friends were trying to get him out and just people weren't caring enough to like to make a path honestly it was like a movie like everyone was going crazy people were falling people were passing out simmons refers to himself as a rager and has been to many of travis scott's concerts i knew that people were were passing out but it was something that typically happens at a show but people seem to get up at, at after a certain point but there was a point where People weren't getting up. Drone video shows the landscape one day later. Tammy Fusel, Jonas's mother, says she's been to many concerts, but she has never experienced anything like Astro World. The crowd goes wild and everybody's jumping. There was a point where Travis paused and saw the ambulance coming. I'm on the platform watching and I thought, oh, he's going to stop him. He's going to tell people to calm down, but he didn't. With the mayor adding that Houston has never experienced anything of this magnitude.
and mind you, y'all see the type of music I make. Y'all see everything, like, you know, like, I've been so heavily influenced by Travis, but, like, after tonight, bro, like, God really showed me, like, you know, like, stay away from that shit, bro, like, that shit not for you, because, like, he sacrificed so many people's lives tonight, like, for real, like, so many people's lives are gone tonight, because they want to go to a fucking Travis Scott concert and have fun, you know, he influenced people to be raging and all this shit, so many people broke in, and it was just chaos, bro, it was a living fucking hell, bro, Imagine seeing all those dead bodies and that was that was just by me. Yeah, was this some sort of a demonic sacrifice? Yeah, he's got a history of this, right? I just want to send out prayers to the to the ones that was lost last night. My fans really mean the world to me and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. Does it look sincere to you? Alright, so uh yeah, that was the concert. And uh I don't even know where to go from here because uh <laughs> there's all kind of symbolism and everything else that seems satanic uh revolving around this cat right um let's start with uh since we ended up with that let's start with like some of the shit that he said right so um first <laughs> this shit about telling people to 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 beat their ass is crazy watch this Get that motherfucker, get him! You tried to take my shoe? You wanna be a thief? Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Get him out of here. Get him out of here. That's out there, right? Beat the ass. And then uh check this out. He says they're going to hell, right? Hold on, let me explain something to them real quick. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. So let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times and you didn't even know. All right. So look, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Right. And uh, check this out. What he says about the blood. Our artists, we just got to be like aware of just like what you just said. You know, people are always going to be reaching for that bad headline or that sure. bad thing. You know, so I'm aware. That's why I was just like, man, but when I do my shows, I'll be so turnt, man. Like it's a it's a it's another level. Yeah, with Travis Scott's on it's stage. Like, yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not like the guy that got like, you know, I had the backup dancers. I ain't got the drummers and that. No, I'm all about the blood. You know, we got to turn up. The you blood. Know, it's all about rage. <laughs> blood. And just like the, who's bleeding on stage? I mean, you know, I'm not bleeding, but the fans are like <laughs> I feel you. giving their bodies. Right, so right, right, right. Music, <laughs> get a blood experience. Yeah. The blood. Okay, right. <laughs> What's that about? Okay, so that's leading me into his relationship with Kylie Jenner. He's got some crazy connections, right? So uh, first off, uh, Kylie Jenner says she and Travis weren't aware of the Astroworld deaths until after the concert. 
Uh, you could take that for what it's worth. Maybe you believe it, maybe you don't. But um, Kylie herself is like uh, known for doing weird stuff like posing in the Freddy Cougar skin suit. And uh, who could forget this right here? What are they selling? That's crazy, right? Is that satanic? What are they selling? Kylie Jenner's bloody photo shoot mocked as a heavy period. <laughs> so that happened. <laughs> Uh, and they were caught with this photo. Um, There's this photo of their, their painting that was in their house, whatever this is. Um, You know, it's a weird painting, right? Uh, it says death of a porn star, but death star is crossed out and porn is still there. Somebody says, supposedly those are monarch butterflies. Uh, what's that? Child Jack. Let's look from another angle. Right, it looks like a woman's head. It looks like an erect penis, pubic hair. I don't know. These monsters are sick. <laughs> Blood, monarch butterfly, woman's breast. You know, um, that's an odd painting, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's crazy, right? And he's also down with Bill Clinton and talks about his relationship on a song called Houston Fornication, oddly enough, right? So, um, you know, he's got some crazy connections with other people that um, are reportedly into some some satanic stuff. I mean, you know, Hillary Clinton was talking about uh, Moloch, right, in one of her emails. So, um I don't know what to do with this. Okay, so, <laughs> right? So, I mean, I mean, are they just putting it in our face? I mean, is it really like that? Are they just satanic or is it, you know, something else? Um, let's not, I don't want to like, um, I don't want to forget that, uh, well, <laughs> how do I say it? Listen, this is not the first time it happened, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so if you remember, Ariana Grande had a concert where this kind of thing went down. And if you remember Jason Aldean, and uh, curiously enough, Jason Aldean now with a hit record, right? Supposedly, uh, you know, against the system. But uh, he had one of these things go down at his concert too, a deadly shooting. And this is the deadliest one in history, if I remember correctly. So, oh, well, it says it right in front of my face. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so my point is, you know, Travis Scott's not the only one to have this kind of stuff go down at his concerts, right? But... He's the only one that I've seen this at one of his concerts. Check this out. Did Drake's anyone else notice this at Travis Scott concert? This? What was that? I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but what the fuck is that? What is that? that right <laughs> okay well, look <laughs> i don't know i don't know i'm asking you guys is, this, is 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 it really like that okay let's get into some of the symbolism all right so um here's astro world uh and at the bottom it says moloch had his sacrifices tonight right you can you can see the sacrificing temple and temples rather and you can see that with his head, mouth open, right? Is that what it means, devouring people? Is that what it means? You know, y'all tell me. Of course, you know, you got to do the one eye symbolism, right? <laughs> Can't be in the club if you ain't got one of those, right? Okay. Is this monarch butter butterfly symbolism, right? Is that what that's supposed to be? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all tell me. What about this? cube symbolism now isn't it crazy that he seems to have all the symbols not just one <laughs> he's not just obsessed with butterflies or something like that he's got all the symbols it seems like look at this portal right what's up with this 
You know, I, I can't, I can't call it. And here he's got the pedo symbols, right? Those are the pedo symbols, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, he seems to have <laughs> every trick in the book. Now these hand symbols here, uh, if you remember Pan's Labyrinth, that was from a monster that devoured children. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later also, <laughs> right? It says, dove on fire flying out of the portal on stage, red circles of fire to start the show, expelling any kind of Christian element to the show. That's what the symbolism means, rings of hell. I don't know. Is that what it means? Right? Christ in limbo painting, a visual of hell. And then you can see the astral world entry. Hmm. That's strange, right? That's strange. I mean, why does he have all the symbolism? Who is the Canaanite god Moloch? Child sacrifice is non-existent today, hopefully, but that hasn't always been the case. Let me stop there. Child sacrifice is super prevalent today with all the child trafficking, all the child slavery, and I hate to admit it, but yes, abortions. Child sacrifice is thriving these days. Well, it took a hit with Roe v. Wade. Continue on. In ancient times, it was commonly associated with people hoping for greater fertility for either a person or the land, but one cult stands out from the rest, the cult of Moloch, the Canaanite god of child sacrifice. And I got to go back to that um, whole abortion thing. Look, I, I, I hate that it is what it is. Um, I'm not trying to take sides or, uh, you know, I'm not religious or anything like that, you know, but um, it is what it is. It, it is child sacrifice. And um, you know, I I didn't always I I wasn't always comfortable in that knowledge. I didn't always believe that, but that's what I believe these days. So there you go. All right. So the cult of Moloch, who is also called Moloch, is said to have boiled children alive in the bowels of a big bronze statue with the body of a man and the head of a bull. Offerings, at least according to the Hebrew Bible, were to be reaped through either fire or war, and devotees can still be found today. According to Jeremiah 32, 35, they built the high places of Baal in the city of the son of Hinnom to offer up their sons and daughters to Molech, though I did not command them, nor did it enter into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. So uh, there you go. That's what Moloch is. So. Um, okay, so he's also has this inverted cross as his stage, right? Now, you know, I did theater for years. I've seen all sorts of stages. I've seen him looking like this. I've seen him in the round. But uh, is this crazy that he's got all of these symbolism, all of this stacked up? And it, is it, it <clears throat> the question is, I mean, are they really putting it in our face like that? And if so, why isn't anybody saying anything about it? It's crazy, right? Even this t-shirt seems to have devils passing through a portal. Okay. What? Who's the one who designed these theme parks? Yeah, okay, that's another thing. So the big open mouth is a thing at theme parks too. It wasn't just Astro World, but it's still sort of a trip. It makes you think like, huh, maybe they all knew something, right? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let's go on a side note. Okay, so breaking news, Astroworld Festival staff were instructed to refer to the dead concert goers as Smurfs in the event of a fatality, according to a leaked safety and emergency response plan. Okay. Now, talk about symbolism, right? Do you know about Smurfs? How messed up my childhood was. Oh, boy. When I was a child, uh, I lived in Germany, and uh, we had a, a German teacher, like, for one hour a day. She would come in, and she would teach us German. And um, at the time, Smurfs were just becoming very popular. Um. Smurfs. And the only real Smurf thing that was happening at the time, there was no TV show or anything, uh, was that you could get these little figurines that you put on your pencils. Okay. So you, like, put it on your pencils. I got Smurf on my pencil. Um, I'm having a good time. Smurf <laughs> on my pencil. Mm. My German teacher comes and says, what is this? And I was like, uh, it's Smurf. <laughs> but this is what she told us. She was like, where do the Smurfs live? And I was like, oh, they live in mushrooms. Yes, they live in mushrooms. 
I was like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> so this is the story she told me. Smurfs are, uh, the way they reproduce is they lure children into snowdrifts. And the children fall into the snowdrifts and die. And then when spring comes, the bodies are found, but under the bodies are mushrooms. The Smurf village is the place where children fall over dead. Their blue skin is because they are all frozen children. They turn blue and they mock the children because they wear white hats that indicate the snow. That right. Okay. So now, look, <laughs> everything this, this dude seems to do seems to be somehow connected or, you know, attached to some sort of a uh, demonic something and what's up with that right i'm about to say some crazy information about this travis scott show i wasn't gonna make a video on this but when i started digging what i found is nuts so we know the all-seeing eye represents lucifer but when you see the eye on the hand that gives us a better idea of who they're talking about this is pale man from the movie pan's labyrinth in 2006. now this creature devours children in this movie Pale Man was inspired by a painting called Saturn Devouring His Son. So it's very interesting to me that the entrance to the show is a mouth devouring people as they walk in. The painting was a picture of the Roman god Saturn. He's the god of agriculture that symbolizes time. He's usually depicted with a scythe. The Grim Reaper is really just a picture of Saturn. Now Travis's set design was a mountain with a portal in the middle. The temple that the Romans built for Saturn was called Saturnius Mons, or Saturn's Mountain. Going to the show was like entering the temple of the devil and participating in a soul harvest ritual without even knowing. It gets worse. Now, one of the symbols of this god is a cube. It's called the Black Cube of Saturn. Now, Saturn's number is eight, which represents the eight corners of a cube, which is why there were eight flames at the show. This is the craziest part. The cube represents confinement and no way out. This is an old film called Cube. Fear, paranoia, suspicion, and desperation. Don't look for a reason. Look for a way out. And wasn't his recent song titled Escape Plan? And wasn't the main reason people died was because they were confined and couldn't escape? And those who have spiritual eyes, those who are open-minded know what I'm talking about. And there's no doubt about what happened at that show. All right. So also, I'm not a huge numbers guy, right? But since we're on the subject, <laughs> Astro Festival, Houston and Travis Scott, all equal 77. Deadly equals 666. And the headline says Travis Scott's Astro Festival in Houston turns deadly, right? Astro, Astro World and Sacrifice both equal 46 and 62. Travis equals 46. So... There is that. Oh, and last but not least, it happened 666 months and six days since the founding of the Church of Satan. So, <laughs> so there's that, too. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, um, I don't know. Leave a comment. You know, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, like I said, you know, um, I... <laughs> <laughs> it would seem to me that uh, in a lot of ways, they are putting this stuff in our face. And um, we need another thing, uh, just in case you didn't know, right? The true dystopia is here, just in case you don't know what a dystopia is. An imagined state or society in which there is great suffering or injustice, typically one that is totalitarian or post-apocalyptic. So, yeah, you know, is he, was he trying to call for something? <laughs> What's going on with that, right? Okay, so Travis Scott released a new single called Escape Plan the day of his Astroworld incident. You can see here in the music video that he's wearing a Pearl Jam t-shirt, but something that stood out to me was the subtleness of the shirt. Like, it looks like he's trying to hide it. Uh, I slowed it down here so you could see the t-shirt. But I did some research on Pearl Jam and I came across the Ross Skilled tragedy. There was 50k fans waiting to see Pearl Jam. There was also 50k fans waiting to see Travis Scott. Eight people died at the Ross Skilled tragedy. And eight people died at the Astroworld Festival. The Ross Skilled tragedy happened in the year 2000. This is where things start to get real crazy though. Check out Pearl Jam's artwork on their merch from their 2000 tour. 
But this shit is crazy to me because the number eight plays such a big role in all of this. And I'm not really sure how. Look at the eyeball in the center, okay? And then, boom. Eyeball right there. Wait for it to zoom out. Damn. That's eight flames coming off the stage right there. Mind you, his set only looked like this while he was performing his new song, Escape Plan. All of this ties in. It, I, I So, um, you know, that's about all I got. Uh, I just need to know what y'all think, you know? Uh, this is definitely questionable, if you ask me. I don't know if, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I, I got my suspicions, but I'd rather hear from you. I mean, is this fool satanic? Is he just doing it like that? Uh, shout out to Leia Harmony. I miss you, sweetie. Hopefully I see you again soon and uh, catch you on the next one. Satanic motherfucker, Travis Scott. Burning hell, motherfucker. Piece of shit. Piece of fucking shit. Ooh, 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 shit. You motherless fuck. You motherless fuck. this hoodie this shit is brand new this shit wasn't even fucking worn yet shit still got the verifications from stock x you cock sucking motherfucker fucking mcdonald's gear fucking stupid slippers that i can get from a fucking fucking uh fuck. <laughs> These used to be my favorite shorts. These used to be my favorite fucking shorts. <laughs> Should I throw both of the fucking shoes at one time? Throw them. Throw them?